are the team of SQ2. We are students of the University of Tartu and we are space engineers. The SQ2 project was brought into life with the help of the University of Tartu and Tartu Observatory. However, we work independently. We have the opportunity to ask advice from amazing lecturers and researchers, but it is us who are designing and building the satellite. This sets us apart from other similar student space programs. SQ-1 went into orbit in 2013 and finished its mission in 2015. A year later, we started with SQ-2 and this will launch at the end of 2022. Our project brings together many partners from different countries. For example, our main experiment, the electric solar wind sail, was developed by the Finnish Meteorological Institute. The main part of the solar sail is a super thin wire. Once in space, the wire will be reeled out and charged electrically, allowing us to change the satellite's orbit by using charged solar wind. If needed, this solar sail will help us burn SQ2 in the Earth's atmosphere, making the disposal up to 10 times quicker than for most other small satellites. This is our contribution to reducing space debris. SQ2 is twice the size of SQ1. As a heavily integrated high-tech satellite platform, it is intended for scientific deep space missions. Our platform is capable of transporting up to two CubeSat units of cargo and experiments onto different orbits in the solar system, which can also be used in a swarm to hit multiple different target orbits. An example of this would be the mission architecture of Tartu Observatory's multi-asteroid touring mission. Our team has developed a lightweight and scalable web-based command and control system with an automated up and down link and support for tracking and collaboration with other space missions. We are looking for partners around the globe to develop an accurate satellite ranging functionality using multiple simple ground stations. By now, the SQ-1 team members have made their way into different projects in NASA, ESA and MIT. They are building moon rovers, writing space law and teaching the next generations. That's us, the next generation of students who have made their way into space. So where do we go from here? Wherever we want to.